Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle reprieve for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Do apologize for my voice. Still got a little bit of a cold here, but we are on the settlement of Athens. There is the town center. We do have a 3v3 siege. Let's take a look at the armies. We'll start off out here with the attackers looking at... Mm, Kush. We'll look at Kush first, being commanded by Major Sharp, and he has brought seven units of Kushite slave infantry, four Shoto warriors, two armored Shoto warriors, one, uh, I'm sorry, two Kushite pikemen, one Nubian spearman, and he does have four units of the Royal Kushite archers, one of those being his general. Then we have an Epirus being commanded by Mo, and he has brought four units of the Rayo spears, three Italian swordsmen, three Samnite warriors, three levies, one Royal Peltast. His general is a Hellenic Royal Guard. He also has two Cretan archers and one Rhodian slinger. And then over here, we have an Odrysian kingdom being commanded by Gorm Mjolnir. This is a battle a while back uh, from one of his live streams, so guys, definitely get on over there. His link for his channel is in the description below. But Gorm here playing Odrysian kingdom, and he has brought four units of Falksmen, three Thracian warriors, three Thracian nobles, one of those being the general, three mercenary hoplites, two veteran hoplites, four Thracian bowmen, and he does have his standard scorpion. Awesome. Getting it onto the defenders, we will first look here at Macedon being commanded by Inores, and he has a uh, interesting army. He's got an interesting army for Macedon. Uh, he's got six units of militia hoplites, six royal peltas, one of those being the general, and two Thracian warriors. So no archers. He's got ranged technically because of the peltas, but no archers. Should be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, then we will take a look here at Galatia being commanded by the ultimate legendary gamer. Big name. Uh, he's got seven units of Galatian swordsmen, five Galatian legionnaires, three levy freemen, generals a noble horse, three Syrian archers, and one Celtic slinger. And then we have a Carthage who's kind of spread out a little bit, but Carthage here is being commanded by Yar. I is a pirate, and he has brought four units of Iberian swordsmen, three Samnite warriors, three Italian swordsmen. One Libyan infantry, one Scutari, one late Libyan hoplite. General is a bodyguard. He also has two units of Cretan archers, two Balearic slingers, one Scutari cavalry, and he as well did bring a scorpion. So there you go, guys. Walls just starting to get knocked down over on this side. Kush starting to press up, and Odrysian Kingdom making their way forward as well. So we're going to dive into the battle, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy, and please make sure to hit the like button for the video. Have a good day. And I guess sit down and enjoy. Alright, so starting off right off the bat, we have a unit of mercenary Balearic Slingers outside of the walls. And they are just going to start taking some shots at this Illyrian Levy unit who's already taken a lot of losses. Already down 21 men. Wow, that is a lot. 10 kills so far. Balearic's going to get more. 19 now. 9 more kills. Wow. Uh, Kush bringing up his tortoises. Just starting to bang away on those walls there. And then we have the Odrysian Kingdom, who has made a breach for himself as well. And he's bringing up some more of the tortoises. He's actually got some mercenary hoplites on a tower. He's brought three units of his mercenary falksmen up using the tortoises. He's bringing actually a unit of these uh, three-chain bowmen forward here. Looks like he's moving up more of his army, keeping his veteran hoplites off on the flank there. Guess maybe he's anticipating something coming out of the gate there. Back over on the other side. Here we go. Empress making their way through. Here we go. Some Illyrian levies making their way through the wall, getting into this Italian swordsman of Carthage. And I think, yeah, we got more levies coming through here, getting into the levy freemen of Arverni. Another couple units here. Ooh, Libby. Oh, so Samnite. Samnite's up on the front. Woohoo! Militia hoplites coming through. Here's some late Libyan hoplites going to get a charge off onto them. They are in the hoplite wall. So I think that actually limited their charge bonus. I mean, it's still saying 21, but it's acceleration and speed. Oh, that was huge. A lot of those hoplites just got murdered. 45 of them just got killed by that wall. Wow, that was a lot. Uh, Balearic Slingers looks like, yep, they did. They came back inside, getting some good shots. Yeah, the Levy Frame are not going to hold very long. Oh, those hoplites coming over here now. We get a charge in onto those Levy Freeman. Lyrian levies have been taken out. What do we have coming up here? What is that? A greedy and axeman. Oh, I didn't even see that for Epirus. I do apologize for missing that out on the uh, original army compositions. I do apologize. Grayo Spears making their way forward. Looks like Epirus is just going all in over here. 
Uh, Kush knocked down a couple of wall sections. He's actually got a unit of his... Is that the Nubian Spearman? Yeah, Nubian Spearman taking on Levy Freeman. Not going to work out. Believe it or not, Levy Freeman are actually way better than Nubian Spearman. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can believe that, but just saying. Just saying. All right, back over here. Odrissian Kingdom has knocked down another wall section. Looks like he's bringing up his archers. Where are his archers? Oh, he's stuck them all over here. He's moved all of his archers. Sends one unit. The rest of his archers over on this side. Has not dared to charge through the walls yet, though. You can see all of this. Right? Yeah, you can see these royal peltas. He can't see this one. But you can see the rest of these. Aside. Oh, no, he can't see these two units either. Okay, that's a Thracian warrior and a royal peltas. These units having the same shape flag sometimes is a little... A little annoying, a little irritating. But Scorpion 4, Carthage is fired away. He's got 14 kills so far. Looks like we got some Syrians that have moved up over here, but I think that's the Balerics that were still firing. Yes, it is. Balerics are still firing. 105 kills already for them. But I'm pretty sure they've got not the greatest. Like, they're not killing the strongest of stuff. We do have some mercenary Italian swordsmen that have made their way through here. Four Empress, though. Get into this late Libyan hoplite. Going to continue trying to hold this breach for as long as possible. But the attackers just capturing up that tower. And oh my god, what a brutal stab to the head that was right there. My god. Late Libyan Hoplite still trying to hold on. But ooh, we got some Cretans. Cretan archers now firing into a unit of the Italians. And dropping a decent amount on that volley. Wow, they're already up to 27 kills. There's more Galatian swords. Or the first unit of Galatian swords making their way over here. But it does look like Epirus has pulled back away from the breach points for just a moment. Just a moment. Italian swordsman still there. Two units of the Italian swordsman still standing there. Uh, Kush back over on this side. Kushite slave infantry. Did they get shot in the back or something? Oh, they must have. Yep. Syrian archers here for Galatia. Getting another good volley. Breaking down a unit of Kushite slave infantry, which they actually had a pretty good chance of being able to kill these Levy Freeman. They're actually doing good now. 123 against 102 Levy Freeman. So they should actually be able to win that fight. And now we have Empress pulling away. So Empress deciding to leave this part of his attack. And he's going to come over here and join Kush. That could be interesting because, I mean, as far as from we, what we can see as far as the defenders, there's not a lot of infantry over here. So I think they were really anticipating Empress to press in over on that side. Maybe they were planning on... You know, like overloading Epirus and then circling around and getting into the back of Kush. It's possible. But all right, coming through the walls. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Got some Thracian warriors up on the wall here. I'm sorry, mercenary Falksmen up on the walls, taking some javelin volleys. Looks like the Royal Peltast worth throwing six, and that unit has zero. But here we go. Mercenary Hoplites have made their way in. That's the third unit of Mercenary Hoplites. Yes, it is. Just staring at each other. Just staring into those eyes of the Militia Hoplites. Militia hoplites are probably a little, uh, a little shaken. It's not showing it, but if you know, if you were just regular militia and you were staring down some mercenary hoplites, they're obviously better armored. Yeah, they're better armored than the uh, 75 to 55. So yeah, militia hoplites are like, oh god, this is scary. This could be really scary. Uh, mercenary folks went up on the wall here, though, taking on some Thracian warriors of Macedon, getting up there. 47 kills so far for them. The Falksmen, unfortunately, only 17 kills to their name. Thracian Warriors are definitely better than the Mercenary Falksmen. Let's just take a look at their stats real quick. 38, 39, 48 charge bonus, so not too bad. Actually, their charge bonus is way better than the Mercenary Thracians, but you can see just off the top, me melee attack and weapon damage definitely in favor of the Thracian Warriors. I think their armor is better, too. What is their armor? 10, and their armor is... 30. So yeah, Mercenary Thracian Warriors definitely have a better armor. Uh, we have some of the Cretan archers here for Carthage moved over onto this side. But yeah, it looks like... Okay, so they have stacked up with each other. Holding a lot of strong infantry back. He's got all of his Chotels, Pikes, and both of his armored Chotels pulled back here. Holding back in reserve. Uh, Everett was actually starting to send some units back around over on this side. I wonder why he pulled his army away to begin with. Kush archers have made their way forward. Looks like all four of them are firing away. I think they're trying to get shots there. No. Where are they shooting? Where are they? Oh, they're firing over 
Yeah. Oh, they're firing at Galatian swords. Currently taking on a unit of the Kushite slave infantry. But, oh boy, yep, we got more arrows. Is that arrows or is that slingers? Oh, Balearic slingers fired. Oh, massive volley coming over the wall there into that Levy Freeman unit. Big time volley there. But, yeah, these Balearic slingers getting some more kill. Oh, they didn't get any kills. Where's this other Balearic? Is that still over here? Where is the way did they go? There they are. Yep, 119 kills for them. Not bad. All right, back over here, Macedon and Odrysian Kingdom still just staring each other down. A lot of towers. Look at what he's doing right here. See, okay, I don't know if you guys know what he's doing right here, but he's lining all of his towers up in this direction to block the shots coming in from this archer tower. So that is actually a really good tactic. Uh, unfortunately, the arrow tower can still shoot inside the walls once these mercenary hoplites move forward. I'm going to guess they're going to move forward here soon. Probably start trying to get some attack off there. The back over on this side. Let's see. Kush starting to move up some more units. No, he's not. He's just using his ranged. Firing away here. 9, 35, 38, and 51. Firing into a unit of Galatian swords. Unfortunately, they're shooting straight into that unit. So they're going to have to deal with the 45 armor originally before they can start getting some really good kills. But they are knocking them down. They're down to 130, actually 123. So they got through the armor. They're starting to get some really good kills now. 75 and 45. Very nicely done. Uh, Empress back over on this side. Did press in a couple of units. He's only sending in a couple of mili uh, one militia hoplite and an Illyrian levy. So he's basically just feeding the defenders more kills for these units to get them, allow them to get closer and closer to be able to start earning some chevrons once they start killing some actual units, not just militia hoplites and Illyrian levies. You can see right there, see that experience bar for the Italian swordsman? It's uh, about a quarter full. That unit the same is about a quarter full for that Italian swordsman unit. Yeah, they're just going to get some more kills. Get some more experience. 108 for that Italian sword. 101 there. And the Galatian swords. Unfortunately, didn't get any kills just yet. No kills yet. Very slow attack over here. Very, very slow attack. As... Nope. There's really not a lot going on. Just more moving of towers, making sure that everything is protected over here. And I like the fact that we have kind of have a 1v1 over on this side. Maybe Carthage uh, getting his Balearics. I'm um, getting his Cretan archers out of here. Make it a little bit more fair. I mean, Odrysian Kingdom do have bowmen. But, I don't know, I think that would be a pretty cool 1v1 here between three sh between uh, Odrysian Kingdom and Mastodon. But we'll see. We'll see how it ends up playing out. Getting back over here. Let's see. Anything else? No. Nothing moving. He's just pulling his archers back. Uh, now we have Empress pulling all of his infantry back. Interesting. We still have Italian swordsmen there. You know the Cretan archers there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got more Kushite slave infantry now coming through the gate. Uh, through the breach, I should say. Going to get in the... I kind of just walk through 51 Galatian swords. But, okay, I guess so. I guess that, that happens sometimes. Not really sure how that happened or why it happened, but I'm going to call that maybe a slight pull through for Kush, unfortunately. Archers firing now, or is it still the Slingers? Slingers are still firing. Syrian archers have not. They've got 30 kills, but they stopped shooting again. Balearic's here, 39, now 42 kills. Getting some good kills. Getting some good kills. Now, okay, so you guys might be maybe asking how come they're not coming out and trying to get into the side because of this. This is very dangerous. Four Shota Warriors, two Armored Shota Warriors. I'm not even really counting the Kushite Pikes. But those six units of infantry, the four Chotels and two armored Chotels, very scary. Empress also does have his Sam Knights and his four units of Thereo Spears back here as well. So it's probably better off, if you guys were asking or thinking, it's better going to be better off for the defenders to stay in for now. Maybe try and get some sort of an enveloping maneuver later. But for right now, keeping it inside the settlement, not a bad idea. Uh, back over on this side, actually, Macedon looked like maybe they were the aggressor. Thracian Warriors coming down off the wall. They have 171 kills. Looks like they're going to charge outside now and get in some of the mercenary veteran hoplites. That is going to be a tougher fight 
for sure. They are also getting shot by archers. Definitely did just see arrows coming in there. Yep, yeah, there they go. Thracian warriors get pulled away. 60 men left in the unit, 171 kills. And maybe he's trying to invite Odrysian Kingdom to come back inside. Or to come inside at all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mercenary hoplites moving over here now. Maybe he's getting ready to send some more infantry in here to start pressing forward. That's uh, possible. Mercenary hoplites making their way down over in this direction. Maybe they're going to meet up with this other unit. Maybe start trying to press. But I mean, I'm not, honestly, I'm not very worried about this fight happening. Because I know it will eventually start happening. Um, there's just a lot of... Odrysian Kingdom has the advantage right now with all of the archers. But he definitely does not have the advantage as far as the elite troops that are going to be initially coming inside. I and mean, he does have his three units of Thracian nobles back here. But uh, the rest of his army is pretty squishy as far as the armor goes. So they can take a lot of damage. I mean, they can't take a lot of damage, I should say. Even the Falksman there. Falksman and the three Thracian warriors, not a whole lot of armor. His hoplites are going to be his guys that are going to have to, unfortunately, take the initial brunt, uh, brute force or brunt, brunt of the damage. Uh, okay, so Kush has moved his archers back up again. He's actually bringing a unit. Oh, that's slave infantry. Never mind. Kush has slave infantry coming in. Is this Sam Knights? Yes, it is. Sam Knights. Oh, Italian swords. We're getting shot in the back again. But look at this. Got one lone unit of Cretan archers there for Epirus firing up over the wall. Getting some shots in onto the back of his Sam Knight warrior. They already have 128 kills, though. They just took another massive volley right there. 99 for that Cretan archer unit. Lurk Slingers looks like they're getting ready to start firing. Oh, wait a second. We got Cav. Skatari Cav. Yep, 137 kills. Getting into some of the Kushite Bowmen. Oh, my God. Yeah, Kush, you might want to have brought your infantry up. I mean, you have one unit of infantry still outside of the settlement. Do apologize for missing that uh, Skatari Cavalry charge. But 137 kills, pretty solid. Definitely a good show there for the Skatari Cavalry. Uh, we actually have the Noble Horse General coming out over here for Galatia. He's just hanging out for the moment. But here we go, there we go. Okay. Mercenary veteran hoplites getting into the militia hoplites. And that is not going to be a long fight. Kill so far, they lost one man. Yeah, veteran hoplites get dropped. Oh, we got another mercenary, regular uh, mercenary hoplite making their way over here. Did he send the other? Does he still have the other veteran outside? Where is he? There it is. Other veteran is over here. Okay, so he is going to start trying to make his pressure in on this side. Which I don't really blame. Oh, militia hoplites pulling back. We got Royal Peltas now charging out. Wow. Oh, but there comes the hail of arrows from the Thracian Bowman. Royal Peltas, 80 armor. They're not going to take damage immediately. It's going to take a little while for them to start getting some damage on those Royal Peltas. Swinging back over on this side. Let's see. Kush and Empress still just taking their time. Being very, very careful with their attack on this side. They don't really want to just press in. More infantry still just shuttling around. The Rayo Spears making their way forward. We actually have a Sam Knight Warrior making their way over here as well. But you can see that the defenders have been able to spread their infantry out a little bit more. There was a lot of them congregated over on this side. But they have shifted a decent amount of infantry and range units over on this side. What do we have? Another unit of Kushite Slave Infantry coming in. Still trying to break through this Galatian Sword Unit. Levy Freeman moved over. Yes, it is. Levy Freeman starting to throw those javelins into that Kushite slave infantry. They are taking damage. 
I think that was a Legionnaire. Yep, there's a Galicia Legionnaire that moved over here as well. Archer Fire starting to come back inside the settlement. Let's see who's shooting. Is that the Kush Bowman again? It is. Royal Kush on Archer's 35, the General 75, that unit there with an 88 and a 57. So they should still have a decent amount of ammunition left. And Empress has now made his way back over here. Looks like Empress is actually going to try and maybe get into the settlement over on this side. Let's get back over here, see how... Oh, are those Royal Peltas still there? They are. 94 kills. They've lost 15 men. Militia Hoplites trying to still hold against these veterans and... Oh, these are just the mercenary Hoplites. There's the veteran over there in the corner. More Royal Peltas moving around. Thracian Warriors sitting right there. The other Thracian Warrior there, 171 kills. Let's not forget about him. They are still here. Barely, but they're still here. 50 left out of the 160 originally. I don't think he's going to attack on this side. I just don't think he's going to press in here. Because if he does... Well, I mean, he could press here. That could be an angle. So let me... If he pressed in on this unit... Say this unit came down... And they started trying to fight this one... This wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get around into the back. Because then he'd be able to charge this unit right there. Yeah, that Thracian warrior getting into the back of a militia hoplite. That would be really bad. Oh, Bowman. Bowman firing at some door of Thracian warriors. Run away. Run, 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 run away. Dirty armor. Definitely want to run away from that. Don't want to take any extra shots than they need to. Uh, Empress back over here. He has moved forward. Not really sure what he's doing though. Looks like he's pulling away again. <laughs> so a little bit of indecisiveness here for oh what is that? Carthage actually pressed a unit of Sam Knights out here. 238 kills. Getting into a unit of Kushite slave infantry. Interesting move there by Carthage. Uh but yeah, Empress is being a little indecisive. Not really sure if he I'm I'm guessing he's not really sure where he wants to attack. Does he want to attack against Carthage or does he want to attack against Galatia? Eee, that's going to be a tough fight. Either way, Galatian Legionnaires, Sleeping Infantry, Samurai Warriors, tough fights. Tough fights across the board, but what do we have? Some Royal Peltast exhausted, pulling away 124 kills for them. Another unit of Royal Peltast have taken their place, though. I think the first unit of Militia Hoplites have finally broken down. So I wouldn't be surprised that maybe we start seeing some of the stronger units coming in here. Maybe one of those Thracian Nobles coming in here. Do you see the General really close? Oh, he was just giving a buff. Never mind. Okay. He was just uh, refreshing that mercenary hop like there. But I wouldn't be surprised to see one of these Thracian nobles come in here at some point. Once this once this breaks down a little bit more, maybe one of the Thracian nobles coming in here, charging it onto this Royal Peltast, might not be a bad idea. Just to try and break through. Just to give him a pretty solid edge. Because, I mean, Thracian nobles, guys, look at that. Melee attack 76, charge bonus 63. Armor 55, melee defense, melee damage, uh, I'm sorry, melee defense is not that good, but they do have headhunt, and they can do a lot of damage against the Peltas unit. For sure, they could do a lot of damage against the Peltas unit. Ooh, we got uh, great archers for Carthage have moved forward, so unfortunately he is over here helping out, uh, firing into the back of a mercenary veteran hoplite. Okay, back over here, noble horse general still just sitting right there. Still no major advancement. Kush has kind of just thrown his Kushite slave infantry away. Keeps sending in one unit at a time. So Kush's army has definitely taken some pretty severe losses. He had seven units of Kushite slave infantry. He's got two left. One of them that's not in combat. Interesting. We'll have to see how that plays out for Kush. Hopefully, he's going to be able to do something. Uh, Mercenaries are in Hoplites, unfortunately, getting taken out by Royal Peltast. 88 kills for that unit. This was the other unit that pulled away. 124 kills now for them. Uh, did these guys pull back here? Looks like they did. Yeah, looks like they pulled away for combat, from combat for a second. Uh, he might need to get this veteran to get in there, though. This veteran coming over here into these Royal Peltas to make sure that they're in Hoplite Wall. Might be able to do some pretty good damage. They do have 105 armor. There you go. Switching into the Hoplite Wall. 
And Royal Peltas blasting off with that use the whip ability. There it comes. Here comes the charge. Melee attack 69, weapon damage 39. Veterans pulling away, from, trying to pull away from the Royal Peltas. I don't know if they got completely away from them, though. I don't think they did. Hoplite action over on that side, though. So that's going to be a that's going to be a long brawl. I mean, we got about 33 minutes left in the replay. It's still no real. Uh, aside of just throwing his Kushite slave infantry over here away, I mean that's basically what he did. He just charged them in one at a time and got them all murdered. Now we have Empress again shifting units to the right. I'm not really sure what's going on. Kushite Bowman are making their way forward. 57, 89. The general here, 75. The other unit still with 35. These guys still have ammo, though. Yeah, why are they getting so close to the wall? Might want to watch out with that. You don't have any infantry over here to defend them. Well, actually, hold on. He's starting to move up some of his Kushites, his uh, short Chotel warriors. Uh, another unit of Thoreo Spears moved up right there. Here we go. Some Cretan archers starting to fire. Or not starting to. 183 kills. Wow. Nicely done. Firing into the unit of Celtic Slinger with zero kills. Ooh, that is not good. Is Celtic Slingers are good. They're, oh, they're Slingers. They have a lot of ammo. 25 ammo missed out on the opportunity there. So Kush has moved his regular Shotel Warriors uh, forward about 10 feet and then stopped again. He has no infantry up here protecting his archers. Okay, good. He sees that. He's pulling his archers away. That's always a good idea. Uh, back over here. Still a tough fight. Militia Hoplite still currently holding the line. We have some Thracian warriors making their way through. Thracian Bowman shifting around. 8, 29, 0, 0. So a lot of ammo still left for these archers. Why did I say 8? 15. 15 Thracian Bowman. Sorry about that, guys. Had to blow my nose real quick. All right, back in here. Mercenary Falks with 47 kills. Taking on Royal Peltas. That's going to be a tough fight. Actually, I think they're taking on some of the Militia Hoplites here as well. But it's definitely not Militia Hoplites that are doing a lot. Yeah, literally have 45 kills. Royal Peltas here, 150. Great amount of kills so far. But this side is starting to weaken. I will definitely say that Logistic Kingdom doing some okay job over here with his damage. Weakening this this uh, Macedonian side. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Royal Peltas charging again here, getting into some the mercenary folks that were already there. Or is that a different unit? The first unit pull away. Oh, they did. There it is. Up, up, up. Another militia hoplite starting to waver. Making a little bit more ground. And yeah, he's not going to attack over here. He's not going to come over here at all. He has found his target, and this is the area that he wishes to fight for. Back over on the other side. Hey, we got some Shoto Warriors that finally came inside for Kush. They are getting hemmed up by a unit of Galatian swords right now, which is very strange. I think the archers are helping. No, yeah, right there. Syrian archers, 91 kills, firing into the Shotels. Just going to kill them. Let's keep killing them. Sending in one unit at a time over here for Kush. It's not going to work out very well.
He's got his archers back up here near the wall again. Oh, wait, here we go. Empress did move in. Okay, Empress charged in over on this side. Get into some Galatian Legionnaires and Sam Knight Warriors. Ooh, that is going to be a tough fight. Slingers over here still firing. Yes, they are. 131 for this Balearic Slinger unit there. The other unit of Balearics, I believe, is right there. Yeah, they are. 44 kills for them. Syrians still firing. 109 kills for that unit of Syrian archers there. The uh, Carthaginian Scorpion, actually, 44 kills. Okay, not bad. But yeah, the advancement over on this side here for Epirus again, just being thwarted. Just being absolutely held up and stopped. Titan Swords with 53 kills. Unit of his Cretan Archers coming back. 226. Wow, really good kills there. Zero there for that unit. Another unit making their way forward. 115. But yeah, again, Kush just getting... I don't know why he's sending in one unit at a time over here. And now everybody is shifting away. Are they all going to come around this way? To where Odrician Kingdom is? It looks like they are. Looks like everybody's going to shift down over in this direction. Or is Empress going to try and take on the fight against Galicia? I don't really know. It does look like everybody's moving, though. Noble Horse General making his way back inside so he doesn't get seen. And the Odrician Kingdom doing a little bit more damage. Royal Peltast wavered away. Nice. 91 kills here for Mercenary Falks. He's got two units there. Veteran and regular Hoplite. Thracian Warriors doing work. 104 kills, taking some more lives of these Militia Hoplites. How is his archers looking? 40, 16, 36, and 26. So he definitely still has ammo. Definitely, definitely still has ammo left. Here we go, another unit of Royal Peltas. Actually, this was a unit that was already in combat. 124 kills for them. Charging in, actually breaking. Oh, I don't know if they meant to do that. But they're breaking the mercenary Falksmen, or at least having them waver away. Mercenary Hoplites falling back, and there you go again. Archer Fire getting into those Royal Peltas. That is exactly what he wants to do. Try and get shots in onto these Royal Peltas as they are turned around to run away from the combat. This side over here, I completely understand why. Like I said before, I get why he's not charging in. I mean, he still, okay, he still has two units of the militia. He's got, well, he's got three over here. But if he charged one over here, he would still have two units of militia hoplites here to hold this passage. And he also has infantry still over here, two units of royal peltast. That could just charge in and help out in the fight. But I don't think he's going to move anything over here. There's, I mean, there's no point. There's really no reason to do that right now, at least. Uh, but yeah, looks like Kush and, yeah, they're coming all the way around. They are coming all the way around. All right, guys, so I'm going to make a little cut here until we have a little bit more action because everybody pretty much stopped fighting. I'm not sure what Kush and uh, what Epirus are planning on doing over here, but I will make another cut, and we will be right back. All right, so here we go. Christian Kingdom charging some of his Thracian warriors in here. Looks like he's just trying to charge in and get damage done as fast as possible because his allies are finally getting over here uh, but in the process of the attacking allies moving over that's basically just allowing everything from the defenders come on over here to this choke point and this literally is just a massive choke point area one there one there the defenders just hold those two spots it's gonna be a uphill climb for the attackers and I'm pretty sure yeah by the time they get over here tired very tired wouldn't be surprised if some of these units are going to be exhausted by the time they get over here. So that is definitely going to be another, play another part in onto the attacker's uh, attack here. Let's go. Another unit of the Thracian Warriors charging in, trying to do as much damage to these militia hoplites as possible to maybe just soften the line up a little bit for when his allies do finally get over here. But Thracian Warriors pulling back. Royal Peltas still holding the line. 279 there for them. Christian Warriors from Macedon pulling away 14 kills for them, but we have two, three units of Galatian Legionnaires made their way over here. Two units of the Syrian Archers for Galatia have made their way over here as well. And just more infantry. Iberian Swordsmen have made their way over here. Some more Galatian Swordsmen. And these two Cretan Archers have pretty much been over here the whole time. 78 and 72 kills for them. Not terrible. Uh, actually, what is this? Oh, no. Balearic Slingers for Carthage. 
have the vantage point. They can see all of this. But they're firing it onto something. Not sure exactly what they were shooting at. Looks like they were shooting at a Royal Peltast. I mean, firing at some of these Sam Knights might not be a bad idea. Especially now that they're running past, you'll have their back wide open. Or hitting the Galician. Yeah, Melinic Royal Guard. He's going to start hitting him. Pike might have wanted to swing wide around. Pike did take some damage. He only lost four men, so not terrible. Not the end of the day by any stretch of the mean. All right, what do we got back over here? We got some mercenary hoplites taking on the militia hoplites. They're still holding the line. Actually, are they even fighting? Yeah, they're fighting. They're fighting. Back over on this side, some more Thracian warriors charging in onto a smaller unit of Royal Peltas. But there's the Royal Peltas general getting involved now. Oh, boy. Again, yes they are, they're backing off. Backing off, maybe he's gonna try and get some shots in onto that Royal Peltas General. Ooh yeah, pull back, pull back General. Cause I could, honestly I could just have seen the, uh, the General run that way and one of these veteran hoplites shifting in behind him and locking him over there. But there is Galician Legionnaires right there so they'd be able to move up and try and help hold that position or at least free the, the uh, Macedonian General up. But oh boy, now we got Syrians firing. Syrian archers of Galatia, 186 kills. This unit here was zero. They haven't even shot an arrow yet. Wow. Uh, Odrissian Kingdom Bowman still holding on though. 77, 81. I'm oh, sorry, not 81. 22, 71. And that unit there was 61. So some of them doing pretty good. That unit there with only 22 kills. He did lose 39 men so far though. Uh, the attackers now just blobbed up. Really, really blobbed up. Probably very, very happy that the defenders don't have any artillery over here. Because that would be the end. This battle would not have 20 more minutes in it. It'd probably have about, uh, I'm just going to say, 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Before all of this got shot to hell and was all breaking and running away. <laughs> in all seriousness. But maybe these towers, they haven't really been shooting their uh, scorpion. Maybe that would have taken this out. He might have been able to take, if there was an artillery piece on that corner right there, he might have been able to take it out. And then obviously, well actually no, he could have used this too. He could use this as a placement and then just turn the artillery and fire over there. That could be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, it looks like another calm before the storm. Nothing really attacking. We do have archers firing now. Some more of the Royal Peltast fall, I'm sorry, Thracian warriors falling away there for Macedon. Noble Horse General has moved back up by the gate. It's actually kind of through the gate a little bit. The See, the gate is open right there. What is this? Royal Peltast bro broke away from Mastodon. 293 kills, though. Nice kills. Very, very nice kills. Now what are we doing? What is going on? Now we have Kush and the Odrissian Kingdom. Swinging back down onto the other side. So they're leaving Epirus over here now. Drishian Kingdom leaving his two units of mercenary hoplites inside. Mercenary hoplites and a veteran hoplite. But it looks like it's time for uh, Odrissian Kingdom to take a walk. Oh, Kush is actually falling back into line behind Epirus. What is going on? This is a very confusing battle. Very, very, very confusing battle. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say right now. But I will say that again, I'm going to make another cut. We will get back in when action actually takes starting to start to take place again. Yeah, I really don't know where Odrissian Kingdom is going. He's like running away. Is he retreating? Can you even do that? I don't think you can. But he is definitely running away from the fight. All right, yeah, I guess uh, I'll make another cut here and we'll get back in when the battle starts. So, see you guys in a couple seconds. Oh my god, I thought I hit record before. That volley that just came in from that Libyan infantry. Oh, Sam that warrior right there was absolutely brutal. Holy crap. 
All 19 of those kills were literally dead on face shots as that Sam that Warrior for Edwards was making their way forward. That was brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. My God. Carthage Union Scorpion starting to fire away again over here. 50 kills for his credit to this point. Uh, Odrissian Kingdom has moved all the way over here. So now Odrissian Kingdom is coming all the way over here to attack by himself. Against Galatia. But Galatia, no, they have archers. They brought their archers back. Slingers, Syrian archers. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a very, very hard fight over there. Uh, Kush sending in a unit of his Showtime Warriors. There you go. Might not have needed to dump up on top of that mercenary Sam Knight. Might a little bit bit. Ooh, what was that? Not where I wanted to go. Get back inside. Yeah, there you go. That's where you wanted to go. He wanted to go that way originally. Try and get into the flank of that Sam Knight. So try to break them down. Yeah, look at that. Sam Knight Warriors losing decisively. Getting a nice flanking charge by the Showtime Warriors. We're pretty solid so far. Pretty solid so far. Scorpion for the Odrissian Kingdom has not been shot yet. Still has zero kills. But oh boy, nice. Royal Peltats with a very nice angle into that Sam Knight there for Epirus. But a lot of good javelins. A lot of good javelins. Maybe a couple of friendly kills. Yeah, he's getting a couple of friendly kills. But he's definitely getting a lot more uh, kills on the Sam Knights than he is on his own unit. That Galician Legionnaire unit actually just broke. 34 kills for a Legionnaire. Ouch. Sam Knight Warriors taking that charge. Royal Peltas getting in there. And all right, let's see what Adrissian Kingdom is going to do. Is he just going to send in it? Oh, he's only got these guys left. He's only got his three units of Thracian nobles left. He left his other hoplites and veteran hoplites back over there. Are they coming around here too? Looks like they are, but they're walking. They are walking. Might want to get them out of hoplite wall. Let them maybe move a little bit faster. Maybe, kind of, sort of, a little bit. The Thracian warriors, Thracian nobles, I should say, getting closer and closer and closer to that breach. And here they come. One unit of Thracian Nobles coming on through the line there. Oh, is that two units? Is that two units that came through? No, it's just one. Just one of them coming through, but ooh, look at this. Thracian Bowman getting shots. Firing in onto that Italian swordsman. Starting to try and weaken that, weaken up the defenses. Christian Nobles, 48 kills. But, oh, no, Javelins. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You don't want, Thracian Nobles don't like Javelins. I mean, no unit really likes Javelins, but Thracian Nobles definitely don't like Javelins. Really, really, really don't like Javelins. They especially don't like Archer ammo either. Yeah, he's getting dropped quick. So, 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 so quick. Let's get back over here, see what Kush and... Empress are doing. All right, so we have a unit of Shotels that have moved all the way up. 93 kills, 41 men left in the unit. Carthage sending some of his infantry over here. Iberian swords with Sam Knight Warriors charging it over here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just Katare. Again, the banner is looking so similar. I mean, Mercenaries Katare and the Ita Iberian swordsman, they have the same exact banner. I think they actually even share a banner with the Italian swordsman. So. It is a little confusing at times. Uh, Kush holding back his armored Shotel warriors. But again, yeah, I mean, he's got his final... This unit over here is in combat. Yes, they are. That's a fresh unit, though. Fresh unit taking oh, on some Royal Peltast. Militia Hoplites. Royal Peltast here for Empress taking on Militia Hoplites and Royal Peltast. So kind of an even trade. Kind of an even trade. Militia Hoplites not going to hold very long, though. Getting cut down. Let's get back over here, see what Odrissian Kingdom is doing. Oh, Carthage with his general. Carthage's general, 150, oh, 100, yeah, 141. Empress losing his range. Is Carthage sending infantry out? Nope. Looks like Thracian nobles getting ready to go in. That first unit of Thracian nobles are gone. Dead and gone. I don't even see the rest of the unit coming out. I think they all just got killed. 
Carthage General Bodyguard, 162 kills, has not lost anybody. It looks like he's just farming kills. I mean, this unit still has their banner over their head, so maybe there's a chance that they come back. So I don't, you know, complete. I, I get why he's charging them to get them out of there. Uh, the Dacian Scorpion, unfortunately, they left their Scorpion somewhere, or Scorpions somewhere. Uh, but the Galatian Legion, uh, the Galatian Nobleman, sorry, the Galatian Noble Horse, there you go, decided that the uh, Scorpion crew was on the field for long enough, letting one man get away. One man. Maybe. Maybe he gets away. Back over on this side, though. Let's see. What do we got? We got, we got some Kushite Pikes that have moved in. Okay. Oh, we actually have Armored Shotels. Armored Shotel Warriors getting inside now. There you go. Kush doing something. Uh, Kush. Oh. Wait. Uh oh. Royal Peltas coming outside. Royal Peltas coming outside. Hellenic Royal Guard trying to get over there. Kush not paying attention to his archers. Not paying attention to his archers on all. And they have ammo. Oh boy. Kush had Pikes trying to get over there now. The general running away. It looks like he's just going to leave that unit in there. No. Pull him away too. They still have ammo. There's 65 of them. Uh, back around over on this side. Yeah, this is looking like it's pretty much wrapped up for the Odrissian Kingdom. He's got his general and two units of Thracian Bowman left. Yeah, very, very difficult fight. Very, very difficult fight for the attackers. I mean, maybe if they had worked together, they had all joined their forces together at one point. Maybe they would have had a little bit better of a chance. Uh, these Armored Shotel Warriors starting to get in there, though. Nine kills, 94 kills. Nine, nine dead, sorry. 95 kills. Starting to get some shots again, though. Syrian Archers for Galatia starting to fire away. Pikes moving over here. Is that Kush Pikes? Yes. Kush and Pikemen have moved over here. Get those pikes down. Who's that? That's just, oh, that's the rest of the Kushite Pikes. Okay. All right, so they are actually attacking over on this side. Uh, hopefully the pikes don't move too far, too far forward, though. But then they would be, uh, they would definitely be pike stacking. Oh, they're getting closer. Oh, now they're just getting shot. Now they are just getting shot. He is holding his pikes out for now. Royal Peltas, 91 kills. They got a Chevron because they're killing Armored Shotel Warriors. Armored Shotel Warriors are very expensive. Very, pretty high elite. Uh, back over here, we have the Carthage General. Oh, no, that's Iberian Swordsman. Where is the Carthage General? There he is over there. Okay, never mind. What do we have here? Veteran Hoplites, regular Hoplites pulling away. 106 for the regular Hoplites. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, about five minutes and 50 seconds left, but the defender's line is starting to break. Macedon's line is starting to finally break over here, but Kush, yeah, we got a little, we got a little bit of pike stacking right there. So again, a little bit of a move here uh, by Kush. Now he's getting these armors away, but they are getting littered. Oh my God! Armored Shotel Warriors just getting absolutely. Destroyed. Destroyed. There goes the Kushite Pikes. They're getting shot as well. Oh, boy. gosh. That is very rough to see here for Kush. Very, very rough. Rayo Spears, two units to them. Going to charge it out to one Royal Peltas there. Archer fire still coming. Syrian Archers for Galatia. 59 kills so far. Let's see what the uh, Carthaginian Archers have. 160 there for that unit. This unit here, 277. Syrians. 101, 188. Great day for archers. At least for the defenders. Great day for archers. I don't really know what the attacking archers have. Yeah, that slinger only three kills. But he is firing away. Get some shots in out to that Iberian. Moving to Greedy and Axman right there. 128 kills for him. Not that bad of a day. Uh, Cretan archers over here. 162. And I don't see his other unit of archers. I don't see the banner anymore. Is this pike still holding on? No, it's gone. Never mind. That pike is gone. Royal Peltas digging into these Thoreos. Oh, boy. Beating them up. Beating them up. 
God. Get him, boys. Four minutes left in the battle replay. And it looks like Carthage is actually going to start coming around. So he's going to start surrounding units over in this direction. I just, I don't think the attackers are going to get very much further than they already are. I mean, Kush. Armageddon Warriors, they're doing great. 189 kills. There's only 36 of them left. And they just got surrounded by three more units of Rail Peltas. So he's got one final unit over on that side with only 27 kills. They're in Shield Wall behind another unit of Shoto Warriors in Shield Wall. He's stacking pikes again. Yeah, this is just a, uh, it's a tough game. Very, very tough game. But hey, you know, guys, sometimes those happen. Sometimes you just have a game where it's like, damn, I couldn't do anything. It happens. It really does. <laughs> it just does. So, but all right, I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you guys in at the uh, ending army composition screens. All right, guys, so getting in to the ending army composition screen, and we will take a look first at Macedon, who was being commanded by Norris, who was on the set the battle replay over here. Look at this, my God. Uh, you can tell that there, you can see who did the damage. Uh, he ended with 1981. Thank you very much for sending the replay over as well. But he ended with 1,981 kills. 234 with the general, other royal peltas. 219, 267, 226, 269, 293. Even one of his Thracians, 182. Great job. Uh, then we have Yar, I is a pirate. 3,188 kills. 390 with the general. 195 with his scorpion. 137 with the Skatare. Uh, Slingers and Archers, great day. 277, 244, 230, 223, 162. What happened to you? Why are you so low? 162. Get up there. Rookie numbers. Uh, Libyan Infantry, 100. Iberian Swords, the unit there with 105. Italians, 127, 123. Sam Knights, 270, 245. And his Skatari, 180. And then we have the ultimate legendary gamer playing as Galatia, 1916 kills. 21 with his General. Archers, 160, 190. Uh, Legionnaires, not a whole lot of kills. One unit there with 151. His Galatian Swords, 216, 189, 122, 212, 116. And his Thoreos, actually not Thoreos, his Levy Freeman there, 155. Great job there. Uh, Gorm Mjolnir, who was originally fighting in Norez over on the other side there. Thracian Nobles, 44, 81, 96. Tough, tough fight. 13, 47. Let's see, 100 on a veteran hoplite. Mercenary, uh, mercenary hoplites, 107. Uh, 121 on, on the Falksman, not too bad. His Bowman top unit there was 97, and his Thracian Warriors there was a 79. Then we have Mo with Epirus, 1682, 35 with the General Archers, 162 with 226. His Greenian Axemen, 134. Slingers, unfortunately, only 27 kills. Uh, Sam Knights didn't get a whole lot. Italian unit there with 100. His Royal Peltas, 173. The Rayo Spears, 119, 149. And then we have Major Sharp here with 1,585 kills. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how he got that many kills. Archer General, 121, 129 with his other Archer there. Shotel, oh, Armored Shotel is almost 200. So 189 kills for there for them. Yeah, all of his Kushite Slave Infantry was pretty much just thrown away. 91 kills there, 88 kills there. But the rest of them, I mean, 62, 49. Um, Kushite Slave Infantry is better than that. Uh, his regular show tells 124, 106, 134. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay here for today. Obviously, this video is not as long as the total replay. This replay was 59 minutes and 20 seconds long. So I don't think that it's uh, very close to the full length of this replay. But that is going to be the end. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the content around. But I really, really hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.